to the back of the concert or the program and on the back of the program there are a number of dates there and just like anything else this past year and upcoming year I kind of penciled those in with the idea that they might possibly be erased but hopefully not um, but uh, we we uh, the schedule is kind of fluid but and this is as of right now these are the dates that we have for, for the, um, the upcoming semester uh, I want to bring your attention first of all to the the first um, First thing on the list, and we're excited about this, and and this is hopefully the third the third try, but hopefully this this date will work. But February third, we're gonna have a world premiere concert. This is um, we uh, started having conversations myself and this buddy had had conversations with a, a, a Missouri composer back in uh, the fall of last year, and we talked to him about the possibility of commissioning a piece just for our band. And so um, he started asking some questions: What kind of pieces do you want? Um, what you know, what are the strengths and weaknesses of your group? What's your instrumentation? Things like that. And so um, he wrote a piece specifically for our band. And so we were supposed to premiere that back in the May of last year. And of course, you know that everything kind of shut down and that wasn't, that didn't happen. And so we're going to uh, premiere that that piece on February 3rd um, here at the Fieldhouse. And so we're excited about that. And um, the uh, uh, Mr. Mathis has, has said he's gonna make every attempt to be here if all possible and watch the, the um, world premiere of that, of that piece. After we're done with it, it will uh, be available for any band in the country or world I suppose to purchase that, but every copy that goes out will say at the top, commissioned by the Sykeson High School Band. So, so this is exciting, we're, we're really excited about, about that and we're gonna do that in, on February 3rd. Um, also on that date, we, um, we had uh, one of our students, Jeremiah, is, uh, has written a piece as well. And um, he just, he, he started writing, and I didn't realize till recently, it's not his first one. Seventh grade, seventh grade. He showed me a, a video from a, a, his previous school that he had written a piece that was performed when he was in the seventh grade. And so anyway, um, a few months back, he came to me and said, hey, will you take a look at this? And so he had written a piece, and, um, and so I told him we would, we would be, um, we would perform it for him. And so we did a, little, a few tweaks to it, but we're gonna perform that, and I'm very proud of, of what he did and, and how it turned out. And so we're gonna premiere that on that same day. So there'll be two, world premiere of two songs um, that, on that day. Uh, the, uh, all of the concerts, as I mentioned, all the stuff that's on here is kind of a, a little bit up in the air. All of our district and state level events, we're still trying to get some information from um, the state as to whether things will happen and how things will happen. But, um, 
uh, it is it is our plan to make this next semester as normal as we possibly can for our students and so um, there are some things that are still that are going to happen we know and um, that, that even though they'll look a little different um, things if anything there's something that doesn't happen then we're going to make a plan to try to make something happen for them in place of it and so uh, we're going to try to make this semester look as much um, like a normal year as, as we can these guys have been incredibly resilient um, have been fantastic um, you know many of these kids have either been quarantined or been sick themselves and as somebody comes out you know somebody else um, picks up the slack and when somebody comes back they just jump back in and, and they've just they've been fantastic and we're, we're very proud of, of what uh, these students have done um, this whole semester and, and the work that they've done we're very proud of them so um, and then one last thing is that uh, we got a lot of great positive feedback from you all uh, whenever in October after the October concert we st we streamed the concert um, out for anybody to watch and um, so we that kind of taught us something that that's something we need to do uh, we need to do more often uh, matter of fact it was one of the best comments was that you know Uncle Joe of Timbuktu was able to watch it and he normally can't so um, so we're in the process of start of we're still kind of working out some of the kinks and um, and pretty soon we'll have this up for you all to see online we're starting a, a, a science and band uh, youtube channel so that these concerts can get out to anybody uh, and so this one tonight we are recording it um, and we're looking at getting some better quality equipment and things so that we can do this on a regular basis but thank you for that feedback and we're going to try to make that a, a normal thing um, and so something good that came out of all this mess of the last few months so all right we're we, um, going to continue on with uh, up on the house now.
before we play our last song, I um, just want to say thank you for sharing your students with us. Thank you for listening to their practicing at home. Uh, thank you for reminding them to do their virtual work. Um, we are leaving everything set up tonight. We're good. Okay. They are actually going to perform tomorrow during class. Um, the fifth and sixth graders are going to walk over from next door, and we're going to perform and start the recruiting process for those younger kids to join band at the junior high. Um, so it's an exciting performance tomorrow morning with those kids. Um, yeah. And so this is the group that's going to take care of it. So you guys leave everything right where it is tonight. All right. Good.